is. And today, now that's more more or less later in the day, I will I will be reviewing the Once One Hundred High Grade Shenlong Gundam from Gundam Wing Series. And his colors are somewhat similar to the original colors. We have a pro white, a maroon, metallic red sort of, metallic blue, gold, and gunmetal for all the the hand joints and some other parts. Now let's see. He is more more or less fair than the wing gun wing zero Gundam. Sun doesn't flop around like. Yes, he has more stiffness to himself. Arms will rotate all the way around. Bend at the elbow. Rotate at the elbow. Wrist will rotate. Hand has fingers have movement. Trigger fingers, trigger fingers separate. Like so. He does have somewhat 360 all the way around waist articulation. That's not bad. He has skirts will move forward that far. Legs move forward that far. Back and the staff fellow. Side skirts move a little. Legs move in and out. Band at, band at one point, and because of his, I say, leg armor, there's not that much movement side to side, just up and down, somewhat. Now there is a difference between his arms. One arm has more articulation than the other, which is his dragon arm, which has like. About, I'd say, one, two, three, four, five. About five points of articulation, which I'll show you later. There you go. He has come with the shield. All blue, gold in the middle. And there is one way to fix his jewels. See how these are like real shiny? Somewhere in the camera quality I have. Go on the back. They're about the same. Well, usually they're like a lime to a green, so not, not like the front. But I found a way to fix that. Let's go get some Tamiya color, uh, clear green. It's real dark and gives it that more like emerald look. Oh, here's an example of the color it comes in. These are the these are how they were before. Now they're like a emerald looking color. Accessories. It does come with a staff of, as you saw so. Uh does peg in you're, and you're good to go. Now, what makes this guy different from all the other mobile suits from Wing series is that he has an extendable arm. Yeah, it's really long. It's going out of camera. Like so, rotate right here to get that motion like this. We adjust it, and when it's in this mode, I wish they would have done this, but oh well. What can you do? I do is take the hand out to make it more. Dragon like. Stand up, stand up. And there you go. And like all the other Wing Gundam, uh, Wing Gundam, like all the other Gundams in Wing series, they all come with some translucent green for some part of the mobile suit. And for instance, for this mobile suit, it comes with these kind of. 
going to do this for each side. Tag them into place on the side of the head. I can find a hole. Like so. To make it look like more dragon legs. And I guess in the back here, these are like boosters that make it go fly. And there you go. That's Shenlong Gundam for you. And, hmm, I guess that's about it. Other than, you know, detail he has. He has real nice detail when you get in there. I, I use oil, oil paint pastel sort of, kind of. More or less oil paint. And that's like, you rub it into the, the grooves or the panel lines. You rub, in, rub them into the panel lines and give it more depth, as you can see, right there. Usually this is like all white. And sometimes you can get like an aged set right here, on his front skirts. Right there. Makes it look more aged. I might do a how to do on a Gundam, maybe well, maybe sooner or later. And pretty much that's it for Shenlong Gundam, guys. Not that much. He doesn't have he doesn't have that many accessories like I don't know, like Wing Gundam and Strike Gundam. Well, that's about it, guys. So I guess I'll see you at the next review.